quickly ask our panelists for their key takeaways or their final thoughts. Uh, Ellen, perhaps you want to lead us off with a few of your final thoughts from today. I guess the, the big picture ideas would be that employment law is constantly changing um, and that trends in one state will frequently be adopted by other states. So it's good to be aware of what's happening uh, in other states, particularly, you know, large uh, economic leading states like California and New York uh, that typically tend to be on the more progressive side of enacting, you know, pro-employee protections because often what's happening there may be coming to a state or city near you. John, a few of your closing remarks from today's presentation. Yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, I mean, I think I think uh, <laughs> through my portion of the presentation, I raised a lot of issues. So, um, in terms of doing these types of analyses, and just just to, just to reiterate again, there's a, there's a lot to think about when you're doing these things, and and the reason that that's important to carefully think things out in advance and to frame things is because how you frame your analysis is really going to affect your results. You can get very different results depending on how you do so. And then just to echo what Ellen said, I mean, there seems to be continuing interest in all of these issues, whether whether it's you know what's going on in California with the independent contractors or the ban the box things that are going on nationwide, and what we see in our work is continuing interest by by, by companies and corporations, employers, um, in in terms of looking at equity issues, even you know even when they're not you know directly involved in a in a lawsuit setting. 